she's married to a nigerian man she's lost friends over this and i'm like okay fair enough i get it um <laughs> women need to know their place make yourself happy in that place and be content or something like that and i was like mm. she's also an alcoholic and it seemed like she had a right to decide not to tell her whatever it is that she wasn't supposed to tell her <laughs> to my channel my name is timmy if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by i hope you like it and decide to stay by hitting the subscribe button and if this is not your first time welcome back i usually make content about self-care self-help productivity lifestyle i make vlogs and my vlogs are out on sundays and lately i've started doing videos like these about what i'm watching and what i happen to be watching this week is the real housewives of cape town the last real housewives i watched was the real housewives of abuja didn't go as well as i expected even though i've been hearing what's been going on and i might be dabbling back in it even though i said i was never going to do a video about it again i just might i don't know let's see but today i'm talking about the real housewives of cape town i started it just yesterday so i think i'm on like episode three so it already wrapped like a couple of months ago i'm really late on this it's something that is already been concluded there's been a reunion and everything so this is my perspective as someone who's just started the show okay don't forget to like this video if you end up enjoying it and leave a comment i would love to hear your thoughts on this show so i'm just going to do like a brief overview of what i think of the show and the cast members so first of all i would like to say that the show seems a lot more interesting and a lot more put together than the housewives of abuja because the characters just seem more interesting they seem more genuine and more like they're being themselves so that already makes a difference to me this review is perfect if like me you haven't watched this show and you just kind of want to find out if it's worth your time if it's the kind of show you like so i'm just going to do a brief introduction to all the cast members and because i haven't watched that many episodes there are no real spoilers here i'm just going to say what i think of their characters and yeah just an overview of the show basically so the first character i'm going to be talking about is Bev. she's a middle-aged woman she has a, a daughter who's i guess in her early 20s or you know like it's she's like she's an older kid and she calls her a twin they do look alike and it seems like they, they have a good relationship because she was probably a single parent for a while i'm not sure of the details she does care a lot about the way she looks and she has had a lot of work done on her body but she does work out a lot so that's good she does look fit in terms of her character i don't think she's a very genuine person to be honest um i don't think she's a great friend from what i've seen so far but like i said i haven't watched that much so let's see how the rest of it goes Roshda seems like a genuine person to me she's a young mom and so far i kind of i like her um i think she has about four kids and i think she just found out she's pregnant where i am like i said i'm still on a, still on episode three she has a great husband who treats her like a princess he's like the primary parent which is admirable to be honest he does the diaper changes, he does the baths, the school runs and things like that, which is fantastic. I think more men need to do this. She seems, you know, down to earth and like a genuine person. That's all I know about her for now. Next up, we have Loveline or Lovelin. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but she also calls herself Mrs. Leo. I'm not even sure where that came from, but she's like a proper married, proud to be married kind of woman, which is cool. She's married to a Nigerian man, which apparently is like, you know, people, she's lost friends over this. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. I get it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she's married to a Nigerian man who runs a club, is never home. And yeah, it's a bit like, mm, okay. Yeah, first impression of her, she's quite judgy to be honest. She's the kind of person that thinks that being married puts you on a pedestal. And she actually made a comment in the third episode. She said something like, um, women need to know their place and be content, like make yourself happy in that place and be content or something like that. And I was like, mm, mm. yeah, I wonder why she's married to a Nigerian man. Mm. Next up, we have Tato. I think it's pronounced Tato. Tato. Tato is a single mom. I'm actually not sure if she's single or married because I think in the beginning she gave me the impression that she was single, like co-parenting, and then later on they said she was in a relationship. I don't know if it's with, with her baby daddy or with somebody else. I'm not sure, but they give the impression that she's in an abusive relationship. She's also an alcoholic. She's a winemaker and she kind of uses that as an excuse to drink all the time. Her son even accused her of drinking all the time. She arrives places drunk. Side note, she actually looks like... Um, 
Oh, what's her name from Girlfriends? I forgot her name. I'll put it here. She really reminded me of her just in her looks, not really in her character. Anyway, she's kind of a, a wannabe to me. She seems like she's just trying to prove that she's all that, but there's really not much there. Herself and Bev are meant to be friends, but it doesn't seem like a genuine friendship at all. Bev seems to talk, talk, talk about her behind her back and she just doesn't tell her the truth. It just doesn't seem very genuine to me. Camilla is old, like she's the oldest cast of a ha real housewives i've seen i don't know how old she is exactly but she seems very old she's english she's married and she has two kids she's very quirky her house is unusual she doesn't have any sense of style but she seems genuine so let's see i'm not too sure about her character yet lastly we have rooksy who i'm not too sure yet um i don't think i have enough information first impressions she seems okay she's an old friend of mrs leo i think they've been friends for almost two decades or something they fell out over something that is not yet clear to me rooksy didn't tell mrs leo something but apparently she had signed an nda so obviously that meant that she wasn't supposed to tell her the thing that she wasn't supposed to tell her so i think mrs leo is very petty that's the impression i got and rooksy for whatever reason it seemed like she had a right to decide not to tell her whatever it is that she wasn't supposed to tell her <sighs> very convoluted but yeah so far she seems frank she seems down to earth um but like i said i don't have enough information she seems like a wild card she seems like the kind of person that will start to piss me off after a while or might you know just get into unnecessary fights or something so i can't say yet what i think of her character so that's it guys that's the full cast of the real housewives of cape town in general it seems okay definitely starting off better than the real housewives of abuja and i also spoke briefly about the real housewives of kenya it's better than that even so so far so good i think i'm going to continue this and yeah i'll keep you guys updated i don't know if i'll actually finish it but let's see in general i really enjoy watching africans on tv i enjoy you know like watching other cultures and like hearing other accents and you know just it's, it's just really interesting to me so i love watching them so that's it guys those are my thoughts on the real housewives of cape town i hope you enjoyed it like i said i have just watched three episodes and i know that this show is over so if you've watched the whole thing don't don't judge my opinions just yet um don't forget to leave a comment let me know if you've watched it leave a comment let me know what you've thought of what i've said try not to put too many spoilers because i'm still watching it and yeah please leave suggestions what would you what are you guys watching what's everybody watching because i'm looking forward to watch like what are you watching that's good let me know i would love to watch it i would love to review it if i enjoy it or if i don't but yeah don't forget to like subscribe Leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.